Hi everybody, Michael here from EngineerDog.com and today I want to share something cool with you that I've been working on for a while. This is a contest entry into the Hackaday 2018 contest. It's a subcategory for robotics module. This is a uh, hobby servo based 3D printed linear actuator uh, robotics module. Okay, so it's just a simple tool if someone wanted to get um, well, in this case, up to 80 millimeters of controlled linear travel, and you got a 3D printer, you can do it on the cheap and get a high degree of uh, control, uh, as much as I think you can expect from something produced in this way. So, uh, the challenge of pr making something that functions really accurately with a 3D printer is that there's variances from the printer, from the person, the settings, the materials you use, uh, the orientation, there's all these things that want to come into play and if you have all these moving surfaces uh, working against each other you're going to get jiggle and slop and that's kind of what you see if you uh, if you look for existing 3D printed linear actuator solutions. Uh, now the way that this gets by that um, it, it, it's I tried to make it as replicatable as possible by uh, designing compliant features so uh, in the, on the bottom you can see this uh, the circular relief, so if there's variance in the diameter of the circle that's part of the pin that's attached to this gear here, uh, it'll still fit in, it'll still seat comfortably and keep the gear uh, meshing with the rack uh, the way that I want it to. Um, similarly, the rack itself will comply in this way around the pins that it rides on, and then finally this this sliced wedge here that has a screw in the top, uh, you can adjust the screw to get is to whatever works for your specific setup to get the shake out, but not too much to eat into the limited torque that these small servos can provide. Um, I'd say what else is cool about it is it uses the same type of screw everywhere. Um, to, it's a plastite screw, so it, you just have a regular plastic hole and it digs in and creates a nice reusable threaded hole without having a nut or glue or an insert or anything like that. And I'm sticking with a standard four hole pattern on a 20 millimeter spacing with uh, this module and some other accessories I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with it and work on in the future. Um, so I'm just imagining if somebody wants to build a robot and just if they search for a linear actuator, they come up short. That's that's how I felt when I was searching prior to designing this. And uh, if they if they just want to build the thing, the robot, but not have to build the subcomponents and figure all this out, because this took a, a fair amount of time just to get this <laughs> to get this thing working right. So um, I think that's that's enough for now. The rest of this video I'm going to devote to showing you what this can do and then a build time lapse. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, subscribe, like, share, and tune in next time for to see what uh, to see what becomes of this.